Okay, I'm joining audio. Whoops. Hi. Um, just going to check and make sure my audio settings are same as before. Cool. Yes, they are. Do we have sound now? We good? Hi, everybody. Cool. Here we go with the rocking and the rolling. Okay. everyone for being here uh, and we're excited to have you here at the rock show <laughs>
is everybody doing? Um, I got a chat from, oops, nope. I got a chat from babies. Let's see if that, okay. Ooh, is my sound weird? I'm baby. The box is still unchecked. So I don't know why, if it sounds, okay. It's just weird. Volume for your, they just wanted me to make sure. No, they just wanted me to make sure. I can turn the gain up um, if baby, if Lord of baby requires. Okay. Maybe like this. How about that? Maybe like, do, 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 do. Okay, cool. Let's just see that everything is going according to plan. Okay. I'm like nervous. It's it's a rock show. It's scary. It's actually really scary. It's my first time doing a live stream with know, a, an so audience in the you. room. Uh, but that's just part of the game. Part of the life of being a rock star. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what house he lives in, but I know what block he lives on. I figure if I go enough, I'll see him. But he's always gone. But sometimes I see his mom and she says, Who are you? Get away from my stoop. Who are, who are you? And I say, I don't know when I walk away. Who are, who are you? Sex is cool, but have you heard of if I hadn't discovered? play i should say that afterwards my bandmates are going to join and um oh there's that there's that bug that lives in here you better stop making sounds mister um while i'm playing feel free to put in any questions or topics you want to discuss with us and we'll talk about them when the um when the band when the band time comes um did he land somewhere there's a bug that um has been harassing me all day and he almost never land. <gasps> you get him? I got him. Alex zapped him with the dust buster. I, I've been waiting for him to land. You know, he's really very rude. That's my hero. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do one more and then you can join Alex. Um, You're doing good. Thank you. Um, you distract. I don't, know, I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh. Stop. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I feel something for you. It's hard to ignore you. some uh, songs with Alex on guitar. Um, 
keep uh, keep on bringing in the questions and we will we will get to them when the band joins for a chatty section and uh yeah Ready? uh yes <laughs> This one's for Luke and Lauren. I hope that they <laughs> be liking it. Ready? Uh, okay. mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Get a good look, it's sweet and fucking fast. Get a good look before it's all the past. For now I glow, it's only momentary.
All right, give it up for Alexander Bailey. Wait, I need uh, this back. All right, yeah, I'm gonna plug in again, actually. Yay, that's our new song. And uh, it's been very fun to uh, make that. <laughs> um, and I can't wait to play with the whole band someday when I see them again. Um, cool. We never talked about a thing, never went through it, even though I knew you weren't feeling true to me. The train crawls like our phone calls. I let it go on far too long. So I've tried to sort of create a set list with a handful of different material ranging in time period. So that was uh, from Close It Quietly. Now we're gonna zip backwards over to next thing. I'm doing a bunch of new ones because I feel like uh, this is a safe place to play like six new ones. Uh, I guess I did, what did I do? Two new ones and then now I'm going to do two more. Uh, oh no, I did, I did I did four new ones and now I'm doing two more. That's six. So, uh, and then I'm going to play an old one and then we'll get the band in. So I got three more songs of the set and then we've got a special guest coming in later. Uh, to do a presentation for us. So it's going to be a real whirlwind and we thank babies for letting us just express ourselves in such a deep way. Uh, and thank you for being here. 
just to spare the technological change I'll do the old one now and then I'll play the, the la I'll end with a new one um because the last one's gonna be on piano um cool we've got a real gem packed uh, variety show for you tonight you're doing good you're doing good you're doing good you're doing good, you're doing good. that's my basketball. that's my uh chant that I like to get Everybody say that to me at all times. <laughs> all right. I write a book for you. I wonder if I write a book for you. I wonder if I do. I must apologize to your guitar. You heard it. You heard it here first. Um, I'm gonna do my one piano song, and then we're gonna get the get the band in for some some fun and hey, wild times. Yeah, I'm bringing the, I'm bringing this around for the piano so that they can sing while they play the piano. What am I supposed to do? You're gonna sit and be in it. There you go. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that. Oh, okay. Um, okay, I'm doing one more song. Um, Cool. I'm home. Take off my watch. It's easier to wash my hands without it. I'm sad that you don't believe in love. Thought if anything could change that. Just 
All right. We're gonna get my bandmates in here for some party times. Here, let's get uh, let's get set up like this. That was the music portion. Music portion's all done. Now we're gonna have Ben come in and do, do party times and hanging out and looking at the comments. And then later we have a, another the, special um, guest. Lyrics, smoking through the filter. <laughs> that a, that's a new song though, right? Oh, it is new. Chris is, Chris Art, Chris is a prophet. <laughs> Chris knows everything, knows all. Um, all right, let's get the band in here, huh? Huh? Let's get them in here. Yeah, their column goes. There we go. Um, <laughs> hi. Hi. Does it work? I can hear you. Yeah, okay. Yay, our friends are here. That's lovely. Um, go ahead, you, you do this thing, because I don't, I can't the see the. I'm going to the, look at the comments now. Where do you see the comments? Oh, in the um, in the green room. Uh, I, you know, we don't, oh. we don't need to see. We don't all need to see the comments. Okay, I can. Oh, yeah, thing? that's the thing that Greg sent us. <gasps> look at these comments. What the fuck? Okay, let's let's no, let's look at them. I'm One so of them. Can I look at it on my phone? No, Greg said it's easier on the computer. My lips look really. Someone red. said, "What's each band member's fave song to play live?" Can we get some oh, hearts God. in the chat for oh, my really God. red lips? Ooh. Oh, Greg says you can use the phone. Okay, maybe I'm gonna use the phone. Um, our, uh, my favorite song to play live. Wow, I don't know. I don't remember. I can tell you what my least favorite one to play live is. Let's hear it. Marbles. Oh, marbles. <laughs> least favorite? You went through some fucking hard times with that song. I had, yeah. a, I had a minor mental breakdown. I like when we play that because I feel like high intense at Lauren, BBC. Lauren and they just deleted the video. At where? Oh, they did. But Lauren, it's good because you just like let the Lord take over, you know? Right. It's in the Lord's hands, like all life. That goes music. without saying, yeah. Yes. And I like that. And I think it always pretty much works. Do you remember this? Giving me the wrong number. Did you give someone a wrong phone number? I gave you Oh, no, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember. Someone wrote. Did someone wrote? Does Wait, Alex remember, remember giving me the wrong? Andrew. I thought it was something like kind of fancy. Like someone said, does Alex remember giving me the wrong number at the show in Pittsburgh? That hurt. Huh, I remember that. Wow, Alex, you're so mean. Why'd you do that? I <laughs> I didn't. I gave him my real number. Wow. Guess Alex just doesn't know his own number. So we're sorry, Andrew. Um, oh, that's like from. A long time ago. How has quarantine affected your music? I feel like you guys can definitely speak on that. I haven't played any can't music. Can't play any music. It, it music. eliminated it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Fully can't eliminated play it. for you guys. I don't have a conga. Luke's chops are at an all time low. Excuse me? Your chops are at an all time low, probably. Horrible. I can't all imagine what it would be like if I got behind the kit right now. I know. <laughs> Some, that's funny. Um. <laughs> um I want to go through an order. Someone saying, can your mom play guitar? Easy answer. No, I'm pretty sure no. Um, someone said, talk about your songwriting process. All of us. Um, <laughs> favorite meal of quarantine so far? I just watched your story just now, Lauren. It was exciting. Tonight yeah, was, was the best meal of quarantine. Was tonight. It was so much more exciting with the grill. Yeah, so much more exciting. I know. And you know, now that the weather is nicer, it's going to be grill every weekend. Okay. Oh, I can't wait. So much content. I know. Mm. Um, I know what my favorite meal of quarantine is. What? It's We're kind of on like a rotation though. Mm -hmm. It's quesadilla night. Oh. What night is quesadilla night? Just like one night a week. It's not like it's, it's not a, a hard, regular day. It's not a hard rotation. But it's like once a week we do certain meals, you know, so. Yeah. So we're doing a hard, hard Saturday is pizza, hard and then the rest of the week is something. We did that for a couple weeks with the pizza. Every day of this whole time. We haven't repeated any meals. Um, that's for me, lyric, that's I'm just gonna add, I'm going to kind of... The bar mitzvah lyric? Well, obviously, I want to... <laughs> but... Uh, that's mostly what we want. It seems talk. like your lyric that references quarantine, to me, for what I, for, to my ear, from what I heard, it sounds like to you, the quarantine experience and this whole situation is just fancy cheese. No, 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 no. That's not about me. That's about Adam and Eve. Oh, shit. Sorry. What are you doing? 
Because what I heard is that you said quarantine and what you had rhymed that with was fancy cheese. So That's I true, but I also rhymed it with Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. And I also rhymed that with trying weed. So let's get into that. So okay, so I had this sort of image of like, you know, quarantine killing off everyone. And then there's Adam and Eve. It's just whoever's left. Mm -hmm. And fancy cheese. And in my mind, that's Catherine Cohen and her boyfriend who go live every week. And they're Adam and Eve, and they're trying weed in quarantine. I see. Um, Songwriting tips. Wait, someone. And yes, I do have fancy recommend, cheese. Has the new Lamelda dropped yet? No, it hasn't dropped. When it yet. drops, it's gonna fuck. You oh, up. you know what though? Jillian has a song coming out next oh, on yeah, Wednesday. True. Jillian, that sword, so, that song "Sword" is coming out. Oh, it's gonna be so good. So that's the song I recommend. That's my favorite song. Someone, I don't know if you guys can see the comments, but someone said, "Lauren, your hair looks amazing." Thank you. Nothing about my um, hair. Yeah, I don't okay. have a favorite anymore. Favorite Jillian story, anyone from Chris? Jillian story? No, I don't have a story. Well, she what? rips. Um. I feel like oh, I some. Agree. Someone um asked about a good book of Frank O'Hara poetry to start. I would say Lunch Poems is a good book to start. Um. Where's Douglas? In the he's in bed nick duncan nick duncan asked where's douglas in the chat yeah, he's, he's, oh he's, he's asleep. asleep yeah <laughs> you think you could come to this you crazy um okay i see i see the comments now see, oh I cool was able do you see anything that um the comments. <laughs> now i see the comments uh, i, like all the, I love all the you're doing goods that's my favorite section of the comments that's really are we writing new music and the answer is no i don't actually know how to write <laughs> any music well that's not Lauren, you've written some songs you wrote some raps back in the day right well i like to rap i kind of want to be like you know doja cat at the very if beginning I was of this, my music it would sound like that i thought so about maybe a lot about asses. maybe i'll get ableton and get a <laughs> midi keyboard and all that stuff but you know for me this experience hasn't been about spending money on items so all the Luke's equipment been looking out the window all Luke's the on a long flight to new yeah. zealand yeah i didn't get that but i'll tell you what's free and fun is looking out the window and watching the squirrels <laughs> i watched the squirrel today is that it for activity there squirrels you definitely got some birds we saw, oh, we, so saw many. we saw seven turkeys. turkeys seven turkeys in one day now did you get an itch to go kill one of them or no uh <laughs> I, didn't <laughs> I know I would have. I'm, just, you I know, have my bow and I, I would have had to hold back. We saw, um, we saw two snakes today. Wow, there's just so many more questions now. You said mm -hmm. you saw snake. Oh, I saw the snake that you said that it you meant to No, but we, we saw it two today. No, I didn't take. A oh photo. no, no, no. We we like fully walked right by two snakes that were like possibly mating. Horrible. It Favorite terrorist. I made I made Alex give me a, a PBR because I was so scared. <laughs> I had to a give her a PBR. Ride. <laughs> um past the snake um okay there's a lot of a lot of questions yeah there. we're getting a lot of questions now um I playing drums when i was eight years old and now i'm and now it's over <laughs> when, when did you, you stop, stop playing, playing drums, drums? <laughs> yeah I'll tell, you, I'll tell you the last time i touched May. a drum march 11 luke are you are you 28 or 29 i am 29 and a half now okay i'm turning 29 in three days by the way this is actually Alex's birthday party. I figure I'd start streaming now. I'm about to turn 29. I'm a streamer. Present for you. What was that? What? What'd you say? So we should have done this on Alex's birthday as a nice present. <laughs> yeah. As a lump of coal for Alex. He has to go live. Who came out of the induced album? Um, I've only heard like maybe four. I made things. some he fucking made some cool. bangers. He made a, from he made the a banger from album. the induced album. Yeah. That's for sure. Um, that would have been a really fun activity. I feel like maybe 10 people did it. It's too hard. It's not hard. It's too rigorous, like the some of it, yeah. Ah, <laughs> it's not supposed to be hard. Um, Lauren, who's your favorite Terrace House member? Ooh. <laughs> if you could have, I know I'm staring at that. If you could have anything shoot out of your belly button, what would it be? I would choose Pepe. to have no belly button. Ooh, I like Pepe, but that seems... He is the best. He's great. I really On like your Patronuses. Uh, I really like. That's funny. Um, what is it? If Kai? you guys would watch Terrace House, then we could talk about TV. I told you how I thought it was Terra 
like someone's name Hera's house Hera's house um mm-hmm. I'll, we'll watch it I haven't been watching a lot of tv but we'll watch it um somebody <laughs> I just really like that question well, I like Shion and Subasa. they were the best yeah they were nice. yeah, I'm a Taurus. they gave me so much hope what's a page page limit for Patroness from Harry Potter. Okay, go back up. Oh, and it's the thing that, yeah. Like, like Harry's is a deer, I'm pretty sure. He's a squirrel. A duck or a crab, I thought. A duck or a crab? (laughs) Definitely a crab. Mine's probably like a cow, I think. Because aren't crabs soft on the inside? What? Wait, are Patronuses a set? They're set things. They are, right? Yeah, there's one. Like, you have the same one as somebody else. It's not like Damon's. It's kind of like your horoscope. um, in uh, Golden Compass, which I think is maybe a more interesting concept than Patronus. Demons. Um, yeah, probably a duck. Wait, did you guys see the question that was, if you could have anything shoot out of your belly button, what would it be? A drum kit. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably be a live stream on baby TV. The ability, the ability to play Ooh. an instrument that was in the house that I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> I really have always wanted um I've always wanted to have belly button removal surgery. I find I have a lot of uh I have dysmorphic feelings about my or dysphoric feelings about my belly button. I just don't I don't think it belongs to me and I don't want to have it. Yeah, I don't yeah. I don't relate. What is this saying? Um, my belly button. My belly button's very tiny. I actually have like maybe a freakishly small one. Favorite bird. <laughs> I like this bird that we call a sneaker bird. Wait. Uh, yeah, it's like and black, black and orange. Yeah, I don't know what Adidas kind of bird, bird it is, though. I wish I did know. Amazing bird the other day. Who says sneaker bird? Someone just taught us that. We we made a bird friend. They told me what it was too, but I forget. I know about all these birds from Red Dead, though. You know, I got the bird thing down. You're not supposed to be interacting. You're going and talking to a person or what? Like me? this. On the web? What do you want? Yeah, we made a web. We made an internet bird. Uh, we've joined some bird clubs on the internet. <laughs> my big thing I've been looking for is I really, really need to get my hands on some binoculars. Yeah. We've been thinking about that too. We have, we once I look, one like. <laughs> my dad was terrified by his belly buttons. Oh my gosh, brilliant. Chris. Same Z. Fave Blizzard at DQ, probably go Butterfinger. Definitely Butterfinger. Yeah. I, don't know I, I haven't had a blizzard one. in years. I had one on tour with Warehouse one time. I remember having a. I haven't had a blizzard, blizzard in a long time. I do love DQ though. That was probably the last time. Um, I don't like this violent question. I'm gonna skip that one. Um, love that. Oh my god. Love that Pauline says same about belly button removal surgery. Maybe, yeah. maybe nobody likes belly buttons. I feel like there's probably like some person that does, but it's not me. Um, if you could remove your belly button or your butthole, which one would you remove? belly button that's the question from you or you saw that i just made that up that's so oh, obviously like does, you know? yeah can you imagine <laughs> dude i would go i would probably remove my belly button too wow of course. Like your dad's on oriel yeah that's exciting you know it's not an oriel though father Whoa. it's a robin it's a red breast no, because robin. i used to think that robins were orioles it's black and and orange yeah. like the like the giants but it's not it's not an oriel though it's it's giant. Not, not an oriel I'm pretty, I'm just, because somebody told me what it was and they didn't say Oriole. That's how I know. What is Giants? Sponsored. <laughs> what are Giants? What are the Giants? What are the Giants? They're a baseball team. From where? San Francisco. Okay. Any more sports questions? I just thought maybe it was probably Atlanta because you were talking to your dad about it on the live stream. It's kind of funny. What? Oh, you guys, right. you guys want to know about? Okay, we'll do one. We'll take the last question and then we'll, should we have Oh, the, gonna miss you? Yeah, the story of the gonna miss you account. Um, yeah, it's just something we like to say, right? Do you guys remember when gonna miss you formed? I think I kind of got it from my nephew, my Calvin, I think. I know that yeah. Alex introduced it into our vocabulary. Yeah, it's just something. Gonna miss you. It was like a lifetime ago. Yeah, I feel like it's been years, but Alex claims that it was more recent than that, I feel like, but. Yeah, it's been like, like a year. Yeah, I've been saying gonna There's miss no you explanation, stuff. honestly. I just like to say it, gonna miss you, and then I started. Like I say it when we're going to sleep. I say it when I'm going to see you guys tomorrow, you know. Um, Let's see. We should really answer every single question. <laughs> I've answered all the ones <laughs> I've seen, basically. And just react to every single comment, too. 
What's yeah. the weirdest food you've ever eaten? Well, weirdest tiny banana that we had in Jakarta. Oh, that was good. That wasn't weird. Yeah. No. Well, what could be yogurt. more normal? The, the the snake fruit that I ate in Jakarta was really effing weird, but delicious. Um, that was nice. It was an Oreo, Alex. Says, yes, he says was. it was. It wasn't. <laughs> Wait, Eliza, what what was it? What was it? What are they actually called? It would be cool. If, think... uh, is there? Damn we it. discovered um <laughs> we discovered something called birds aren't real. Eliza, you guys please help. Know about this? Okay. Um. I don't want to talk about. I don't birds want to talk about birds real. anymore. We don't want to talk about birds anymore. Yeah, I'll talk about birds, but making sure we're getting to all the clubs. I'm going. from Gwinnett County, Duluth, okay. Georgia. Thanks for asking. <laughs> that baby's all right. The club we most want to play in again. Thank you to babies for hosting us. Today. Yeah, like, thank you, baby. Playing babies. That's a nice, great venue. Because sure as heck aren't going to be traveling to another city. Baby's all right. Yeah. Again, so probably. When was the first time you guys played there? It's a nice question. I remember the first time I went there. Oh, I remember the first time I played there. CMJ 2015. Wow. Wow. I saw you play there, Greta, I think with as bitches. uh, (laughs) 2013. I think. Yeah, I remember the first time that I played there that. I remember two things about the first time I played. I don't know when it was. It was like when it was new, but I remember thinking that Chris Billius was the owner because he was the first person to greet us and said, thanks you guys for, thanks for playing here. And we were like, thanks for having us. <laughs> and then also um, I remember thinking that it like felt yes, like we were Sorry. in LA because there was the, there was like shark lamps. And I was like, these are really, I was like, this is, it felt like the, one of the bougiest places I'd, I'd ever played at that point in my life. And now it's funny because it feels like like home homey yeah, to be there but at the, back there at the time times, i was like this yeah. place is fancy <laughs> um favorite quarantine horror movie uh, we haven't watched anything we scary. don't really do that because guess what reality is horrifying enough i like scary Very movies true. but i'm in a, a household full of non-scary movies like gurus um so i haven't been watching anything scary do you guys want to share your your thoughts on frogs? I feel like you have a lot to say about oh, it. Yeah, I, I saw oh, so no. much. They're just great, perfect animal. Watching from Japan, that's nice. We all could have been there. Could have been there. <gasps> Didn't happen. <laughs> um, How many insect stings have you endured? So many over like when from my lifetime, countless. Lauren's wearing it too. Yeah, we're wearing Lauren and I are wearing matching shirts. It's over now. I'm wearing a shirt. Yeah, so um, do you guys think it's time for to ca- to cap the questions and move into the um the special guest? Sounds great. Okay. Should, let's do we, it. We stay in this. You guys stay in for for reactions and I'm going to also um do that. So we're going to bring in our special guest. I whose really name... hope that everybody attending feels that they're having a nice time i just want to say i hope so too and i saying that's and i really hope that what's about to happen is going to um i really work hard on my skin how did this song how did it sound just now luke what'd you think great yeah it sounded nice i think it was a little better in the in the video what do you mean oh the kayak song it's always better it's always better in practice it's hard to do it like it was nice so is this uh is this working what what does it mean? Wait, am I screen sharing? No. No? <laughs> How do I share screen? Share screen. Oh, there we go. Hello. Now is it screen sharing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're here today. I'm not going to be a part of this. Okay. So. I'm going to do my presentation about tan feed. Uh, I'm, I'm, tan, I'm tan feed, and I'm here to talk to you today about something that's very near and dear to my heart. And I haven't rehearsed this, so I hope that um, I hope that it goes well. I'm honored to be a guest on this esteemed live stream. I'm here to talk to you about my experience with Red Star Nutritional Yeast. And you can't, well, whatever. I don't know what people are experiencing, so we're just gonna go for it. Um, first, let's start with a little background information. 
Red Star used to be distributed by a company called Sensient. It was purchased in 2001 by La Safra, and they've since been the world's largest producer of yeast since 2007. Amazing. Here are La Safra's yeast plants throughout the U.S. They closed three of them, all in 20 2006, which was a year before becoming the world's largest producer of yeast. Sounds a little fishy, huh? Well, now that we have some background, I can tell you about my experience. I had two bottles of Red Star nutritional yeast, as you can see pictured here. First, I noticed that they had different non-GMO certifications. So I decided to inspect a little closer. Um, the nutritional facts looked almost identical, except for one huge, huge difference. The serving sizes were both 16 grams, but one bottle claimed that 16 grams was three tablespoons and the other claimed 16 grams was one and a half tablespoons. So the serving size is the same in grams, which, which means that doubling the tablespoon amount doesn't change the amount of grams. Okay, so at this point I'm freaking out. I'm screaming my head off. I decided to inspect a little closer. The tablespoon difference extends past the nutrition facts and over to the back of the bottle where they tell you how you can use it. Um, of course, one bottle says to add three tablespoons to whatever and the other says to add one and a half. The three tablespoon bottle also says you can add it to any of your favorite foods. The other one does not. Why not? Maybe it's a new discovery. I do believe that the three tablespoon bottle is a newer bottle based on the expiration dates. So there's a letter that I sent to Red Star. I'm just gonna let everyone take a look at that while I have a little drink of my water. While awaiting Red Star's reply to my extremely kind letter, um, is everybody done reading it? Okay, so I decided to sort of, um, I decided to try and understand the math behind all this. I assigned numerical values to the letters of Red Star, hoping the math would lead me to a deeper or more enlightened understanding. I played with the numbers and discovered that numbers are meaningless. In order for three tablespoons to equal 1.5 tablespoons, three has to equal zero. Six is double zero and Red Star equals six. So I had two bottles half full of nothingness. Then I came upon the density theory. This theory, which seems most likely, says that because grams are a unit of mass and tablespoons are a unit of volume, they are related in a complicated way. <laughs> so, if, so if the newer nutritional yeast is more, less dense, <laughs> it could take more <laughs> tablespoons to reach the same amount of grams, 16 grams, which is the serving size. So I created, I created a red star trying to draw lines and <laughs> connections between the numbers. Um, remember this image because we'll need it for later. Now let's go back to La Safra. Looks like a pretty normal street to me, right? Wrong. The La Safra image perfectly contains all the numbers I had crunched. They were planning this all along. When it comes down to it, Red Star has not replied to my extremely kind inquiry. So as far as I'm concerned, they are refusing to comment. The conclusion? I'm switching to There's brag. a couple new slides in here. Yeah, I, I finished it today. <laughs> so that's my presentation and I and I really hope that it was Wait, informative. Did you have the numbers already? Yeah, I showed all the numbers. Oh, yeah. um, did, you, interesting. did you guys like it? I yeah, love that. that was so cool. That yeah. I think that could come to practice with us more often. You think? You can learn a thing or two. Yeah. Yeah, I think that um, you know, I well, had the thing a... about Tanvi, he's not he's not observing quarantine. Ten ten feet, <laughs> <laughs> ten feet is a roamer and he's he likes to live on the wild side. Let's see what people are and I'll go back to the comments and see what people are thinking about my presentation. Well, that really <laughs> doesn't add up. Good stuff. Did you guys like it? Did you think it was good to do this in the baby's live stream? <laughs> A little something that was really smart you did a good Here, job Alex, you can come back and sit now um i mean i think we should we'll start to wrap it up soon but i'd love to just take a look at the comments from my from my presentation do you guys have any questions or comments for mr tan no no i pretty much got it yeah, yeah. It made a lot of sense did it make sense yeah what do you put it on usually everything put well the three tablespoon bottle you can put on anything it right. says <laughs> I really want to say fruit 
movie. I know. <laughs> I would never do that. They got some weird suggestions, yeah. It's so savory. It is. Savory that's what it should say on the back, like add to anything savory, or, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like everybody's uh, really um really into my presentation. I'm really honored to be reading all these comments. Um, Maybe you should start kind of doing that. Like, yeah, I think I'm gonna sort of switch into into <laughs> presentation. Kind of yeah. see where it goes. Yeah. Is Greta, it... you ever heard with Marmite? Not really. Good. Yeah, you might like it. Did I get into it? Oh, I also have to give credit to um to Sarah Abbott because you it, know what they taste exactly. It was her idea same. to use that meme. And she did notice it was in the presentation, and it was because Sarah pointed out that it was exactly that math thinking meme image. Um, yeah, it is kind of like cheese. All right, are we? It done? is kind of like Parmesan cheese. Um, do you guys have Marmite at your house? Yeah, yeah we do. Do you use it on toast or something? Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm gonna just share. In closing, I'm gonna share my tan feed disgusting delight, which is um that I like to take rice crackers and put um, put earth balance butter on it and then nutritional yeast and that's what I eat for lunch. Thanks for coming. You know thanks for coming eat. and thanks for having us. Uh, I don't eat that. Man, I really, <laughs> really miss uh, playing music. Yeah. yeah, me too, it's so sad. Um, God, this whole thing isn't, is it, it's, not, it's not good enough. Did you get inspired to, you know, create a drum part for that song or anything like that? Sure, know. if I could freaking get some drums. Dan Bailey was commenting pots and pans. We I know. Have, we have I, really nice pots and pans here. We can't be banging those. Well, I just don't know what I, I don't even have sticks with me, to be honest. You were born with sticks, baby, 10 of them. Yeah, I guess that. <laughs> Again, that's and sticks right here, buddy. <laughs> you remember that insane photo we found of someone with tiny drumsticks attached to each finger? Of course, I actually look at it. Some I posted it, so yeah. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Yeah, of course, I, of course, I remember that. He was playing like a conga. Square. Shout out to the square drumstick. <laughs> I, if any of you out there know anything about the whereabouts of any square drumsticks, please contact me immediately. <laughs> I'm trying to get a hot rim yeah. shot. Maybe we can whittle some sticks from debris from the backyard. I certainly could, yeah. I'm gonna keep watching squirrels out the window. You should take up whittling or something, Luke. You should oh, screw crazy. in some screws or something, do something with your life. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you could. You got a wooden desk behind you, huh? Uh, yeah, I don't think I can make sticks out of that. We'll you know what? You know who makes sticks all day long? Trees. Mm -hmm. Big tree. Good guy. one. Good one. You could go on my dad's car. Big old tree. Yeah, That's that big. was news. Tall. I, I big and can't tall. forgot. To Wait, me. recently didn't that happen a long time ago? Well, it happened on their vacation. That I time. tell you what, I'm nervous about a tree out here doing that too. They fall sometimes. Wait, but it happened recently, like yeah, like a week ago. Is it, was it okay? No, it's totally. No. It's not okay. A tree fell on it. A big full tree. tree. Full, a full, tree. full size tree. Wait, when? Like a week ago. It was a family of baby squirrels that we had been observing every day living in that tree. Living and did they fall into the car? And do they live in the car now? No, they moved to the tree. So you guys have really bad luck right there. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah it's bad stuff. All right, I really feel that we shouldn't. Sit okay, this is perfect because it's 10.01. I think this is a perfect. Okay, gonna miss oh, you guys. Perfect. Yeah. This is okay. great. Great time. Thank Love you guys. You. All right. I hope we can play Cheers. music there. I hope nobody ever has to experience this as a Frankie Cosmos show ever again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, same. That being said, what a great time. All right. <laughs> Love you guys. I'm going to leave the Zoom. Ah. Ah.